Hey everyone, this is Phil from Ember Prototypes. I just wanted to make a quick video showing how we unclog the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. Uh, we unfortunately have broken a connector on the board when we were trying to unclog the extruder following the instructions. Um, so we thought that we would show a video to help other users figure out the best way to unclog the extruder is without so I hope this helps. So this is the X1 Carbon extruder. I've taken the cover off. I've taken the hot end screws off already. So this guy just pops down like this. So what they tell you to do in the wiki or whatever help guide to have online is to basically take this off, leave it plugged in so that you can heat up the hot end and then get something and kind of push the filament through and try to force a clog out. So what happened with us is that because this thing's just dangling here, flapping in the breeze, and you're putting a lot of force acting this way, what happened is we eventually got the clog to go through, but it required so much force and there was such a big impulse that once it went through, the whole assembly went that way and tugged very, very, let's see if we can get it closer, tugged really hard on this connector here. And so this connector just ripped off the PCB. Um, so thankfully we have and a lot of electronics tools, so we just soldered it on ourselves, but you know, if you're somebody who doesn't have those kind of tools, you're gonna have to wait like a week or even more to get a replacement board. Now, as an engineer, I can say that it's very strange that they decided to use a surface mount connector on this PCB. Um, typically, any kind of connector that undergoes some kind of lateral force, or even like a force coming out of the board this way, Usually people will use through hole connectors because surface mount ones will just shear off like like this one did. Um, now having said that, you know, the engineering of this machine is pretty fantastic all around. So, I mean, kind of unfortunate that I chose to do that. So we've taken out the cover for the extruder and we've preheated it to 250 degrees for ABS. Basically all we do is we pop off the PTFE tube. The X1 automatically retracts filament, so that's actually really nice. And then literally all we do is we take this tool and then we just stick it in and then just push and all that filament comes out. So obviously in this example, it's not actually clogged, but this is exactly how we like to unclog nozzles in the case of an actual clog. We can use these little uh, needles, it's kind of hard to focus, to kind of push up through the nozzle in and out and move around or dislodge any more debris and then just push it down with this guy and 99% of the time this fixes clogs. We've never had it issue where this hasn't actually helped. So thought it would be worth sharing. Um, hopefully will help others avoid damaging their hot end and breaking their board. And this is super easy. It doesn't require unscrewing anything, moving anything, holding anything. Everything's supported in place. And that's it. Thanks for watching.